How many meetings do you have left before you come uh, This one and one more. Friday. Are you sure that's within the 18 inch box? Oh, yeah. Um, so at FTC, uh, we all work as a team, and right now we're trying to do the game called Velocity Vortex, which involves um, at an end game lifting up a big ball on top of like a vortex made out of plastic. So in the beginning, um, 30 seconds, there's autonomous, which is when the robot has to drive by itself. In that period, there's going to be beacons on the side where, according to what color you are, it has to be programmed to go and uh, press the button of that color. Um, you can also have two balls of e two to three balls for each alliance, and you have to go score on the ramp. And then the rest of the game is getting the little uh, whiffle balls into the plastic vortex. Usually at the first competition of the year, because people are allowed to continue to make changes, most of the robots don't perform very well at the first one. So we need to be able to score some points. <laughs> These are our motor controllers that connect to the motors through the power supply. And this part, it acts as a collector, so it takes balls hey, and spins hey, hey, it like sorry. this. Yeah, Gord, this is my fault. This is my and then uh, puts them into this I elevator where there's a surgical the tubing tube oh. uh, that it, okay. it works. It works. runs kind of upwards yeah. like this, like a conveyor belt. Oh, awesome. This. Go. Press. That's actually See? good. It's, Whoa, it's good. Oh, it's, 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 it's surprisingly worked. Oh, it was so <laughs> great. Why, the I second time it. we tested we something, it worked. That's like 80% like success rate. That's, right. that's so high. And then the two rollers will be right here, and then it gets caught and it like launches out. So the launcher that they're working on is our main scoring element. That's still in the process right now. If we can get that working, we should do really well in the first competition. It shoots these no, balls. See, well, the launcher is working, but when it's attached, the robot is an inch too tall. It can only be 18 inches tall. So they have to modify it to get it under the 18 inches, mount it, and program it, and then test it. I thought this was, was, Why? Was this are we so bad at playing? Forward, oh, yeah. Which is like six hours of work, and we have about three hours to do. Wait, it's possible that I need to do something. Also, hey, yeah. make... Yegor, can you come up with code to test the uh, flipper? What? This flipper. Why? Can you just come up with code to rotate this one? Yeah, of course. It on Mostly I'm a programmer and, a, an, and I'm building the arm. Yeah. Right now I'm creating the autonomous program. Uh, it's uh, the program that runs uh, at the very start. It runs for 30 seconds. And the, nobody has left control the robot during the autonomous. It has to run entirely on its own. Uh, right now I'm designing, I'm helping putting the arm that's going to touch the buttons on the sensors to be on this front plate. So right now I'm drawing the measurements to put the holes in to attach it. I mostly help with, like, I design the t-shirts and try to organize meetings and I also help work on building sometimes when Misha needs help. Uh, hydration is very important, especially in uh, robotics competitions because usually they're uh, in a gym and uh, many times because of all the equipment you're near, you can get extremely hot. What are you doing? I don't know. I have a basket right there. Uh, last year, Preston told me about it, so I just showed up one day. So there was someone in my math class freshman year who told me about it, and then I thought it looked really cool, so I joined. How's it gonna work? Magic. Magic. I mean, it works. It's not gonna do everything that it will at the, by the end of the season, but yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Like we might get this working anyway. So, ready? Like, you are high, I'm like, oh, dicky now. <laughs>